Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you the integrals of four trigonometric functions. So before we do that, let's talk about which integrals we know. So I wrote down sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. And if you guys watch the other videos, you understand why I have it in this format. So we're gonna go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So anything that has a C is negative. So sine is cosine. Cosine is negative sine. Tangent is powerful, so it gets secant squared. Cotangent is also powerful, so it gets negative cosecant squared. Secant, tan, and cosecant cotan. So these are our main six. You can integrate cosine and you can integrate sine, right? All you have to do if you wanted to integrate sine was give this negative to this. But what about tangent? It's not here. And remember, if it's not on this side, then something has to, you have to basically end up figuring it out. So how do we figure out the integral of tangent since it's not here? Well, the integral of tangent x with respect to x, the way that we figure it out is by doing a u substitution. First, we write tangent as a quotient, sine over cosine. And then we have with respect to x. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set you remember we cannot integrate quotient, so we set the bottom equal to u, you get cosine x, the derivative of uh, cosine x is negative sine x, and then we cross multiply and we get dx is equal to du over negative sine x. You can pause the video. Then what I'm gonna do is, so let me call this one, two, three, and then I'm gonna call this four, so I'm turning this into u's now then five, and then our final answer. Okay, so I turn this, I say sine is sine, cosine is u, dx is du over negative sine. And what you're gonna do here is the sine x's will cancel because we know that if there's any x's, we cannot integrate. So negative one over u, and who gives me one over u? Ln of u. So your final answer is going to be this. Now, it's gonna either be this, or another way of writing this is ln of secant x plus c because if you put the negative by using the natural log properties, if you put the negative in front, one over cosine x is secant. So either one of these is good to go. Well, what about cotangent? Well, cotangent follows the same exact procedure. Cotangent is cosine over sine. So we're gonna set the bottom equal to u again, as in most cases when you're integrating quotients, the denominator is your u. You get sine x, du dx is cosine x, you cross multiply, you go back, you say cosine, cosine, that's u, that's du over cosine. The cosines actually cancel out perfectly, where in this case, the sine was left with a negative. So you're going to integrate that and you get natural log of u and u is sine x from here. So with that being said, that's the integral of cotangent x. So I'll show you at the end and I'll summarize it, okay? So this is how we do it. Secant x is a little bit trickier because secant x is just one over cosine x. There's no trigonometric function to get rid of like we did here. So we would set u, we got rid of the cosine x. We did cosine, we got rid of the sine x. Here, you have a one in the numerator. So there's actually a little trick that you have to do. You multiply top and bottom by secant x plus tan x, okay? And then you're going to distribute, you get secant squared x plus secant x tan x over the denominator you're gonna set the bottom again equal to u. The derivative of secant is secant tan, and the derivative of tan x is secant squared x. You're going to solve for dx. You can pause the video if I'm going too fast and take a look at every step. And now I'm gonna go right back up here. And I actually, everything cancels out perfectly. So you're left with one over u. So the integral of secant x is natural log of u. And look what's in here u is secant x plus tan x. So what do we do here? How can I memorize these really quickly? Well, first I put tan and cotan. This person is neg negative natural log of cosine x. 
So this person's positive natural log of sine x. If this person is positive natural log of secant x plus tan x, what do you think cosecant is going to be? Negative natural log of cosecant x plus cotan x. And for anybody who wants to know why, it's the same procedure, but instead of secant and tan, you put cosecant and cotan. So those are the four trigs, and now you have the integral of all of the trigs. So I hope that's great, and your job is to memorize those, all right? And if you can't memorize it, you can use a U sub for this person and this person, but not this and this. You have to use a technique for it. Have a great